Yeah, but the difference is that debt in the private sector, as long as it's not financing consumption and it's financing production, is actually um, non-inflationary. If anything, it's disinflationary in the sense that it leads to falling prices. Um, so, I mean, it, I would say that private sector debt, you've got to, it's, it's very, very different from uh, public sector debt, very, very different. Um, and you can't just make a straightforward comparison. The idea that, uh, you know, that if you look at uh, uh, sort of total debt, you know, sort of total debt in the economy, they say something like, I don't know, I'm just making a figure up 300% of which government is only 100%. The problem is in the private sector. No, it's not in the private sector. It's in the government sector because it spends in excess of its tax income unproductively. It is therefore inflationary. That is the debt that's the problem. And uh, the, the, the debt trap, the dynamics of the debt trap are basically when you get an increase in the cost of that debt in the form of interest rates that is increasing at a rate faster than the rate of GDP growth, then you're in a debt trap. It's quite simple. It just goes to the point where suddenly nobody's going to lend to you because, well, I mean, what do you do? You put up the, the interest rate. And the interest rate uh, then works against you because it makes that relationship between interest and GDP, interest, uh, you know, interest growth and GDP growth, it makes it even more disfavorable to GDP growth. And, you know, the debt, if you like, the interest rate um, side of the equation rises even faster. That is it's a classic debt trap. And we're on the verge of it. And what happens in both America and the UK is we have a large contingent of foreigners who we rely on to buy our debt. They will go on strike unless the interest rates are higher. But as I said, if the interest rates are higher, we're dead anyway. So we've got ourselves into this silly situation from which there is actually no escape. That is the definition of a debt trap.